Manise. My questions are for Ms. Raskin. I'd like to ask you about Federal Reserve Master Account Access. Uh, this is an issue of great interest to Wyoming and my constituents. I asked Chairman Powell about it. I asked Governor Brainerd about it at their nomination hearings. I've been stonewalled at the Fed, and so I wrote an op-ed in the Wall Street Journal. Master accounts are the way banks access the payment system. Many non-banks, including trust companies, have applied and failed to receive a Fed master account. To my knowledge, there's one, and only one, state charter trust company that has a Fed master account. It's a startup based in Colorado, formed in 2016, called Reserve Trust. Reserve Trust has repeatedly touted the value of the company's Fed master account. Their homepage says, in 2021, one of the company's investors underscored that Reserve Trust is armed with a master account at the Federal Reserve and direct access to the payment rails. The only company in the country that has that, the only start uh, fintech company. Now, a Fed master account gives Re Reserve Trust an enormous advantage over everybody else since it appears they're the only one who has it. And you're very familiar with Reserve Trust because you joined their board in May 2017, just four months after leaving Treasury, right? Well, right? Well, thank you for your question. Um, I joined the board of Reserve Trust um, in 2017. And your and treasury I stint at, came after four years as a Federal Reserve governor, right? Um, four years, I think. I, well, after I left as a Federal Reserve governor, I went to Treasury as Deputy Secretary Correct. of Treasury. You're, you're, you, you went yep. from the Federal Reserve governor to Treasury and then to uh, Reserve Trust's board. And, and then Reserve Trust had its master account application denied in June 2017. But one year later, the Fed granted it a master account in 2018. It's a mystery to me how dozens of fintech companies have tried unsuccessfully and how Wyoming's SPDI charter has been under review for well over a year, two and a half years at the Fed consulting with them about how to make this qualify. How did Reserve Trust get there so quickly? After Reserve Trust had their application denied, did you communicate with the Federal Reserve about Reserve Trust's application? So, Senator, I was on the board of Reserve Trust, on the board of directors from 2017 till 2019. And they got their master account in 2018. So did you call or communicate with the Federal Reserve about Reserve Trust's application? Well, uh, certainly, if you are suggesting anything improper, I want to make very clear that I have, um, first of all, had the honor to serve in various public capacities. And each time I left, I have been very mindful of the rules regarding departure. Well, I it's my understanding you did call the Kansas City Fed in August of 2017 regarding Reserve Trust's master account application. So I have significant questions about your involvement in Reserve Trust efforts to obtain a master account. So Reserve Trust is denied. You go on their board. Then they get a master account. Did you communicate with the Board of Governors about Reserve Trust's application? So I can assure you that I have been very focused. Well, who did you, who did you communicate with? First of all, I want to be very clear here. Um, the Federal Reserve has, res has, has approved plenty of master accounts. For but, not, but not in fintech. You resigned from res Reserve Trust in August of 2019, correct? Um, 
August 2019, I left the Board of Reserve Trust. Correct. Now, do you know Amias Garrity? Yes, I do know Amias Garrity. Okay, so while you were number two at Treasury, Mr. Garrity was the Acting Assistant Secretary for Financial Institutions, and he reported to you, right? He did not report directly to me, but yes, he was at Treasury when I was there. And he's also a partner at QED Investor, which is now the controlling owner of Reserve Trust. So in 2020, QED Investor purchased the 195,000 Reserve Trust shares you received when you joined the board in 2017. And they purchased your shares for almost one and a half million dollars. Even in this town, that's a lot of money for being on a company's board of directors for two years. So let me recap. You leave Treasury. You serve on the Board of Reserve Trust for two years. Their first application for a master account is denied. But after the denial, you call the Federal Reserve. And... Reserve Trust receives a Fed master account, the only state chartered trust company in the country to get one. And you walk away with a million and a half dollars. Something doesn't smell right with the way this played out. My state's companies, my constituents, have been stonewalled, have been slow walked, and have not been able to get approval, even though they've been working with the Fed for two and a half years on our very specific guidelines for getting master accounts. Now, Mr. Chairman, I don't know the details here because the Fed hasn't provided us with any documents we've asked about Reserve Trust master accounts, but I think this requires additional scrutiny by the committee and I look forward to receiving it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. 